Hello, Ted Dribbler here. Now, today I'm looking at one of the most divisive, destructive people in the history of Britain. I'm not overstating my case. This woman found herself elevated to a position of power she just weren't suited to. She made everybody's lives in the 70s and 80s a right bloody nightmare. I'm not even talking about Margaret Thatcher. No, no. Today's subject is Mary Whitehouse. Mary Shite House, more like. All the best music, films, TV, you name it, her and her followers were against it. She thought just because she had that Christian background she could tell everyone what to think and do. But it's because of people like her that Britain's so repressed and backward sexually. She really had it in for the BBC, apparently because of all the sexual content. I mean, my problem with the BBC is a bloody licence fee they charge. It's outrageous. You go to any foreign country on holiday, you put the telly on there, there's tits all day. Even on the bloody kiddies programmes half the time. And yet in Britain, we used to be reduced to crawling through the bushes looking for jazz mags. It's just not right. Well, isn't it funny how uh, people like her can find fault with video nasty? She, she didn't like the gays, bloody hell. And yet at the same time, they can give Jimmy Savile an award for family-friendly entertainment. But since she died in uh, November 2001, times really have changed. Thanks to the internet, you can get anything at the click of a button, even all those video nasties she's tried to get banned. God knows what she'd have made of smartphones. I mean, here I am, stood at her graveside on the anniversary of her death, and with a few clicks, I can be watching high class pornography. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shy, sir. Oh, shy, sir. Maybe we, ha we have gone too far. Um, something does seem a bit wrong about this scenario, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, shy, sir. Although, look at the knockers on that. No, we haven't gone far enough. Bloody lovely. Yeah. Oh, shy, sir.